Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that's quietly draining your wallet, fuel myths. You've probably heard these from gas station conversations, family group chats, or that one friend who swears he knows everything about cars. But here's the truth. Most of these so-called gas-saving tips are totally false. And believing them? It's not just silly. It's actually costing you money. In this video, we'll break down 10 of the biggest fuel myths people still fall for. Avoiding these simple mistakes can save you cash, protect your car, and make you a smarter driver. Stick around for a bonus tip. Myth number one, premium gas is always better. You see premium gas at the pump and think, it must be better, right? It costs more, so it must be higher quality or give your car a boost, but that's not really true. Unless your owner's manual clearly says your car needs premium fuel, you're just wasting money. Premium gas is made for high-performance engines, like sports cars, luxury vehicles, or turbocharged models that need higher octane to prevent engine knocking. If your car is designed for regular gas, using premium won't give you more power, better fuel economy, or any extra benefits. You won't notice a difference in how your car drives, but you will feel it in your wallet. Premium usually costs 20 to 50 cents more per gallon. Over time, that adds up to a lot of wasted cash. If your car runs on regular fuel, don't fall for the hype. Stick to what it needs and save your money. Myth number two, fill up at night for more gas. Some people believe that filling up your gas tank at night gives you more fuel for your money because cooler temperatures make the fuel denser. It sounds like a clever little trick, but it's actually just a myth. The truth is, gas is stored in large underground tanks where the temperature stays almost the same all day and night. That means the fuel coming out of the pump at midnight is basically the same as the fuel at noon. No extra density, no extra value. Staying up late or timing your fill-ups based on the weather won't help your wallet. What really does save money is using gas price apps to find the cheapest stations in your area or filling up when prices drop. Those small decisions add up way more than trying to outsmart the fuel pump with temperature tricks. Don't chase myths. Just be smart about where and when you fill up. Myth number three, topping off the tank gets you. More you fill up your tank, the pump clicks off, but you keep squeezing the handle to get that extra bit in, maybe to round it up to a full dollar or to feel like you're really topping it off. But here's the truth, stop doing that, seriously. Modern gas pumps are designed with vapor recovery systems that suck the excess gas and fumes back into the station's tank. That means the extra fuel you're paying for isn't even making it into your car. Even worse, overfilling can lead to fuel spilling or getting into your car's emission system, which is meant to handle vapors, not liquid fuel. That can damage parts like the charcoal canister, and repairs can easily cost a few hundred dollars. It's just not worth it. When the pump clicks off, that's your car's way of saying, I'm full. Trust it, save your money, and avoid unnecessary repairs. Don't top it off. Myth number four, all gas is the same. Gas is gas, right? Just go to the cheapest station and call it a day? Well, not exactly. While all gasoline comes from the same refineries, top tier brands like Shell, Exxon, and BP add special detergents to their fuel that help clean your engine and keep it running smoothly. These detergents prevent carbon buildup, which can clog fuel injectors and lead to engine problems down the road. On the other hand, cheaper off-brand gas stations might save you a few cents per gallon now, but in the long run, they can cause dirty fuel injectors, lower performance, and even costly repairs. So next time you're filling up, think long-term. Spending a little more on higher quality gas can actually save you more by preventing engine problems and improving fuel efficiency over time. Myth number five, idling your car warms it up faster. It's cold outside, so you start your car and let it idle for 10 minutes to warm it up. That's old school thinking. Back in the day, Cars with carburetors needed time to warm up before they ran smoothly. But today's modern engines don't need that. Most newer cars are ready to drive after just 30 seconds of idling. Letting your car idle for long periods doesn't help and just wastes fuel. Even worse, prolonged idling can lead to engine wear over time. The better approach? 
Start your car, wait 30 seconds, then drive gently. Your engine will warm up faster under normal driving conditions, and you'll save fuel in the process. No need to let your car run for minutes on end. It's a waste of time and gas. Myth number six, driving fast saves gas on short trips. Some people believe that driving faster on short trips saves time and fuel, but that's not how it works. Speeding, hard acceleration, and abrupt braking actually burn more fuel. Your engine is most efficient at steady, moderate speeds, usually between 40 to 60 miles per hour. When you floor the gas pedal or drive aggressively, your car uses extra fuel, wasting more money and stressing out your engine. Short trips already consume more gas because your engine hasn't had time to warm up fully and speeding only makes it worse. The best way to save fuel is to drive smoothly and steadily. Avoid sudden accelerations and sharp braking. Even on short trips, keeping a calm pace allows your engine to run more efficiently and saves you fuel. So, next time you're rushing to your destination, remember, taking it easy on the road saves both time and money in the long run. Myth number seven, all fuel additives are a scam. You've probably seen those little bottles of fuel additives at the store, claiming to clean your engine and boost your MPG. Sounds like a scam, right? Well, some of them are, but not all. Quality fuel additives like Tecron or Seafoam can actually help clean your fuel system. If your car has carbon buildup on the injectors or intake valves, this can improve fuel efficiency and engine performance. But here's the important part. You don't need to use them in every tank. Instead, use them every 3,000 to 5,000 miles or when you notice rough performance. And always stick to trusted brands. Don't waste your money on cheap knockoffs. When used properly, Fuel additives can help keep your engine running smoothly and efficiently. So don't fall for every flashy bottle on the shelf, but if you choose the right one and use it sparingly, it can be a worthwhile investment for your car. Myth number eight, driving with less gas saves weight and fuel. This one's kind of funny. Some people believe keeping their gas tank low helps them save fuel because there's less weight in the car. Sure, in theory, less weight could help with fuel economy, but in reality, the difference is so tiny that it's not worth worrying about. What is dangerous, however, is driving around on fumes. When your tank is almost empty, your fuel pump can start sucking up dirt, debris, and gunk that's settled at the bottom of the tank. This can clog your fuel filter or even damage the pump, which could lead to costly repairs, sometimes hundreds of dollars. So don't run your tank low just to save a few pennies. The smart move, keep at least a quarter tank full. It'll save you money in the long run and help prevent expensive repairs. Keep your car running smoothly. Don't stress over the weight of a little extra fuel. Myth number nine, air conditioning wastes tons of gas. People often say that running the AC in your car uses a ton of fuel, so you should just roll down your windows instead. Well, here's the truth, yes and no. Using the AC does consume a bit more gas, around one to four miles per gallon, depending on your car. But here's the twist. Rolling down your windows, especially at high speeds, creates wind drag that makes your car work harder and burns more fuel. So, if you're just driving around town at slower speeds, rolling down the windows doesn't hurt much. But on the highway, you're better off keeping the AC on low. It's actually more fuel efficient than driving with the windows down at high speeds. So, next time you're cruising down the highway, consider keeping the AC on and saving the windows for when you're in town your fuel efficiency will thank you. Myth number 10, gas goes bad in a month. Some people think that if they don't drive for a few weeks, the gas in their tank will go bad and mess up their car. Well, that's not really true for most people. Modern gasoline actually lasts three to six months without going bad. And if stored properly, it can last even longer. So unless you're planning on leaving your car parked for an entire year, there's no need to stress about fuel going stale. If you know your car will be sitting for a long period, like during winter, you can add a fuel stabilizer to keep things fresh. That's it. No need to worry about bad gas causing problems. Just keep driving your car normally and the fuel will be fine. In fact, the only time you need to be concerned is if you're storing your car for a year or longer. Otherwise, it's business as usual. Bonus tip, this free trick saves fuel fast. All right, I promised you a free bonus tip and here it is, super easy and totally worth it check your tire pressure. It might not seem like a big deal, but underinflated tires force your engine to work harder, which means it burns more fuel and your tires wear out faster. 
Even being just 5 PSI below the recommended level can cut your fuel efficiency by 3 to 5%, and that adds up quickly over time. The good news? It only takes about two minutes once a month to check your tire pressure, either at home with a gauge or at a gas station. Just be sure to use the recommended pressure listed on the sticker inside your driver's door, not the maximum PSI number printed on the tire itself. Keeping your tires properly inflated is one of the simplest and most effective ways to boost fuel economy and help your tires last longer. Give it a try. That's it, 10 fuel myths busted, plus a bonus tip that could save you big. These mistakes might seem small, but over time they drain your wallet, lower your car's performance, and lead to costly repairs. Now that you know better, you can drive smarter, save money, and keep your car in top shape. If you learned something new today, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this with someone who still tops off their tank like it's 1995. Got any fuel saving tips? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.